Hi everyone. Uh, up next on our outdoor games and activities series, we're going to talk about an obstacle course, which you can also do inside for sure. Um, but you can have a lot of fun with it outside. So one thing I recommend is spending some time brainstorming. What items do you have that would be good for an obstacle course? Do you have lawn chairs? That would be great. Do you have hula hoops you could use? Do you have a pogo stick? Do you have a scooter you want to use? Um, anything. Do you have a swing set in your backyard? A trampoline? You can do a lot and get really creative with what you have. Uh, you can use the hula hoops as markers for places where you need to jump, like lily pads. Um, you can use swing sets and, you know, get different sensory experiences from that, whether it be swinging maybe a little bit on our bellies to give a different sensory experience than swinging on our bottoms, just as long as we're safe. Um, can you do 10 jumps on the trampoline before you start your obstacle course or in the middle of your obstacle course? Um, do you have a lawn chair that you can crawl under, army crawl, or, you know, run around three times or sit in it up and down five times? Different things that we can do with different obstacles. You can also really challenge yourself and your communication skills and your listening skills by having yourself be blindfolded and then a friend or an adult or whomever can try to guide you slowly through your obstacle course with no eyes. Um, in that situation, I recommend toning down the activity to stuff that is safe to do with our eyes closed, like stepping over the sides of the hula hoop and not bumping into them or weaving in between the hula hoops or the chairs or whatever or having them guide you to sit down on each chair if you have multiple chairs in a row. Um, I would potentially not use a trampoline, a swing set, things that could easily be injuries for us um, if our eyes are closed. So stay safe, get creative. Like I said, you can also do this one inside around your house or apartment, depending on what you have. Um, again, I am a one woman show. So having an obstacle course that weaves around would be really difficult to film with the equipment I have in house. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys get really creative with this one. Um, I would love to see videos of you running your obstacle course. You could really make it a challenge to see who can run the obstacle course the fastest or to see how many times you can go through your obstacle course before you're out of breath and exhausted. Um, you can see how many times you can run it in five minutes. Get creative, have fun, do whatever makes you happy with it, but also challenge yourself. Uh, we're not making therapy benefits if we stay within our comfort zone. So in order to meet our goals, we really need to push just a little bit. So I challenge you to come up with some really fun things that are your favorite or that sound like a lot of fun and try one thing that sounds a little difficult or is a little difficult for you. Uh, and as always, let me know how it goes. Send me a video, comment down below or whatever you like. I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day and keep occupied. Bye.